almost the weekend, which is always the perfect time to catch up on all things streaming. If you're on the hunt for some new titles to add to your list, we've got you covered. Uh, TV Guide Editor-in-Chief Mickey O'Connor is here on hand with his list of what to stream for the weekend. And we've got some interesting things, mm -hmm. yep. including something pretty funny, a, a funny series starring Kathy Bates, yep. who I love. She's yep. good in everything she does. Absolutely. If she picks something, it's probably good. Yep. Let's uh, take a little watch here. Cannabis lawyer, cannabis activist, and just before I open the door, cannabis user. Free joints for everybody! You remind me of your father back in the day. Ambitious, determined, thirsty for young white women. What? This is a different <laughs> Kathy Bates. What is going on here? Well, Disjointed. Yeah, so it's called Disjointed. <laughs> um, it's uh, a series that... Um, she made with uh, Chuck Lorre, who did Two and a Half Men and uh, Mom, right. a lot, of, a lot of great shows, Big Bang Theory, and um, and it was also also one of the producers is a produ uh, one of the uh, original writers on The Daily Show. So it's really funny. Yeah. Um, it's you Looks know quirky. as you would imagine. There's a lot of hallucinatory sequences. <laughs> there's animation. Right. There's vintage TV footage that they incorporate. You know to to, to you know it's a trip. <laughs> so to speak. Pun intended. Um, yeah, but it's very funny. And she, you know, she's a great comic actress. I mean, it's yeah. like she does everything, but she's she's very funny um, and when, when she gets the material. So yeah, this looks good. funny. Um, if you're into uh, maybe 80s comics, you're going to like this next one for mm -hmm. sure. Once again, I wish Vlad was here. He'd be yeah. probably jumping up and down. Right, right. But let's see if you recognize this character. Let's play the trailer. <laughs> well, look at you. Impossible. You're a superhero. Good eye. I am the tick. Well, the truth. Where do you bench? <laughs> no idea. Can you fly? <laughs> Good costume. I love the right, costume. Right. The antennae moving separately. Right. Um, it's the tick. Yeah, so this is one of those ridiculous things that you would never think would work, but it worked. And, you know, so it was a show on Fox and, like, 2000, 2001, and it became kind of a cult hit after yeah. it was canceled. And, um, you know, if you remember, the, the original one starred uh, Patrick Warburton, who everyone knows because he played Putty on Seinfeld. <laughs> mm -hmm. He was Elaine's boyfriend. Mm -hmm. He had that really deep, gravelly voice. And then the, now there's this British actor, Peter Serafinowicz, who has the same voice for this character. And um, it's really funny and, you know, kind of a, a, very, a very different take on a superhero. Okay, okay. I like yeah. that. That's a good little tease there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, oh, so now we have something that's a little more serious. Um, yes. Whitney Houston, if you're a Whitney Houston fan, uh, mm -hmm. there's a new documentary that's going to be uh, coming out. And, uh, you know, exploring her life, her death. But we've seen a number of documentaries. Sure. Um, let's take a look at this first. Okay. It was this emphasis on being the perfect girl. Her music was deliberately pop. Anything that was too black sounding was sent back to the studio. Whitney insisted they crossed her back over to black music. Her favorite saying was, Can I be me? Can I be me? So, like I said before, we've seen, and there have been a few documentaries yeah. about her life. So, what makes this one different? Well, first of all, it's unauthorized, um, which mm -hmm. I think makes it a little edgier. Mm -hmm. um, one of the producers is a guy named, uh, and producers and directors is a guy named Nick Broomfield, who you would know because he did an unauthorized documentary about Kurt Cobain and Courtney Love. There was a lot of legal action. Um, he was sued. Oh, yes. Um, I saw that one, he, and that was very good, too. And he, and he won. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, he's known for doing kind of, you know, um, unvarnished takes on these on these famous personalities right. so you know the interesting thing about this is that it talks a lot about um, how she conducted her career and that she had this really strong uh, drive for perfectionism and and um, you know and it ultimately might have been the thing that sort of undid her mm. yeah oh that's fascinating all right well three really good really yeah, interesting yeah. options for you Mickey O'Connor thank you so much thanks for having me